right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. I ain't kidding. You're not supposed to be here, so you better leave. This ain't a hotel, Mungo. We don't let stupid farts in here for the hell of it. Like I care about your stupid caps. I'm not some big, dumb Mungo. We don't let people just come in here when they feel like it. That ain't how it works, and it ain't gonna change. Guess you gotta find another home for little orphan asshole. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Why should I trust you? I got no reason to. You Mungos are nothing but trouble. I ain't gonna let what happened to Sammy and Squirrel happen to anyone else. Them and Penny got themselves caught. By Mungos, just like you. Slavers from Paradise Falls. I told them to watch out, but the stupid kids didn't listen. You do that? Maybe. If you can bring them back, I might let you in. Yeah, that's not... Well now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well, time to die. I love it when they go down fighting. Over uh -huh. here! Yeah. You're dead! You're dead! Head on a Oof. fucking plate! Oh.
Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? Up there we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Yep, and if you're not tough enough to survive, at least you can be useful to those of us who are. You wanna look around? Where the hell do you think you are? We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think... Fine, I... Hmm, maybe I could use someone like you. You might fit in after all. Eulogy's got a special contract out... I'll split the commission. What?
bastard! Uh, there you are. Want some more? Put it. Had enough? I'm out of here. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. We have a little assignment from the Commonwealth. A very important slave escaped into the wasteland. Well, it's not exactly a slave. It's what they call an android, a kind of synthetic man. The important thing isn't what this guy is. The important thing is the job pays more than you can imagine. He thinks the synth man might be looking to get in touch with a doctor or a tech head. If you want to cut, then get a move on. Look, wait. Oh, jeez, Mungo, this is crazy. We're gonna run for it. You come meet us outside. You're going.
What do you want? Make it quick. Now's our chance. Hey, hey, you want to hear a song? See it. Ain't had enough to drink. Now that, that sounds like a plan. This place is terrible. Free. Oh, hey. What? What? Oh, I don't know. I don't wear a watch. They're pretty rare, you know. Ain't got no use for one. Lost most of my hair a long time. We're free! Thanks for getting us out of there, Mungo. We're gonna head back home now. I'd think twice about coming back here if I were you. These guys aren't going to forget you, you know. You again? I told you to get lost! I already t Oh yeah? Well why didn't you say so, you stupid mungo? Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah. Me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Don't hey. just stand there. Wow! What luck! I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Nah, I'm a grown-up now. I can handle myself. There's no reason to waste your time with the kiddies at Little Lamplight. They'll steal your caps when you aren't looking. So let's go to Big Town. I can show you the way. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Get out of hey, here already. Hey, what's up? The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay?
Oh, that's good, because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, got any Nuka-Cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that, because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. Yeah, more Nuka's always good. It's definitely always gooder than less. Because no Nuka's no good at all. Got any Nuka for me? I'll trade you whatever I got for more Nuka Cola. Anytime. Nuka for zip. Nuka for zip. Oh, well, I found a lucky bullet this morning. It's just a measly old 10 mil. But I know for sure it's lucky because it was sitting there all alone out of its clip and not fired off. Want it? Yay! Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola makes the stomach bubbly in the world so jumbly. Yay! Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky or Yancey or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the Third? I mean, this hits because I'm so fast, but that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that will never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? Okay, see you next time, mister. You know, the usual. What the hell is RJ thinking? Letting a damn mungo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mungo! Oh, you think Sammy and the rest wouldn't have gotten back on their own eventually? I taught him better than that. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, Mungo! I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Oh really? That's a cute little imagination you've got. But if you want to play make-believe, maybe you should do it with the younger brats. Okay, then. See ya. <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? And how'd you get let in? Well, that was you? Nice work. I hope one of you grabbed some of their gear before you left. Gotta make them pay for something like that. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? That Commonwealth robot was real. I have proof. Listen to this. Where to, man? Okay. You got to be happy about. Hey, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest. So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? Oh, that was you? <laughs> nice work. I hope you got some good laughs out of it before you left. Gotta make sure they know not to try that again. Speaking of which, I'm not not and I take care of the general morale around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stories, and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. Morale's better than less Al, see? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam, jokes. Want to hear one? Prepare to be amused. 
Knock, knock. Noah. Know a place where I can get some food? Whoa! You really think so? Like, actually funny? Can you convince other folks to find them funny? Actually, most of our jokes are from an old book we found in the vault called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Wow, that sounds like it took some guts. Life down here might get dull, but I gotta admit, at least I don't get shot at. Well, not as much anyway. Tell me more. What's happened since then? That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. See ya about. Later. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Boo hoo, you big baby. You're still a mungo, and I still don't like mungos. You want a party or something? You go pay some mungos to be your friends, and then they can talk all about how great you are. How's that? Haven't we gone through this? This is a bad idea. Fine, send him here. But if he smells bad or makes dumb jokes, I'm sticking him right back outside. We got enough of those here already. Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. About time. That's right, and don't come back. You want to go to Big Town? Of course you do! All right, yeah! Big Town, here we come! Why is this taking so long? 